all to the Interhouse Monologue Competition. A prayer is the bridge that links the arts to the Almighty. So let us all take a moment and remember the divinity to have an auspicious beginning to this very exciting competition. of the rules. I would like to invite our first participant, Arathya Sena of Class E3 on stage. We have witnessed many things. We have witnessed many things such as joy, excitement, such as joy, excitement, blessings and all. But there is one thing that I don't understand. Why do some people have everything but others don't have anything? We have seen that most of the people get paid for eating less and wearing least. But the other part of society does not have anything to eat or wear, but hardly gets something. I'd like to invite our second participant, Palak Mohapatra from Class 8E. I don't think anyone here underestimates the importance of energy in our lives. Look around here. The lights, the fans, the microphone, all have made today's event possible. Reliable energy not only supports our lives, but all sectors of business. Lack of this affordable energy would have a severe, severe impact. Greetings, I'm Palak Mopatra. I'm here to emphasize on the topic affordable and clean energy. Until now, our excessive dependence on cheap fossil fuels like these has resulted in greenhouse gas concentrations, sea level rise, ocean heat, and ocean acidification. The change in these four key indicators consistently implicates human activities as the cause of climate change. Next, I would like to call our third participant, Fatima Zahra of Class A. I wish a very good afternoon to everyone present over here. My name is Fatima Zahra. Today, all of us have gathered here for a reason, and that reason is the future. Let's talk about our lives presently, how it will affect the future, and wh why we do what we really do. As I say these words, millions of people across the globe are starving to death. The UN stated that at least 800 million people in the world, 800 million people in the world are undernourished. I have developed a habit of giving away the leftover food at a party or gathering at my house to the poor people in my locality. I also motivate my parents to donate money to charities that feed people. And I do so because malnutrition produces weaker individuals. To make a sustainable future, the world is in the need of stronger individuals. And that is why we must end world hunger. I would like to invite our last participant, Amina Nadim Sayyad, from Class 8A. I once saw a documentary on how a seagull's stomach was filled with trash. And it horrified me, which got me to investigate more on this topic. Good morning, I am Amina from Class 8A, speaking on the topic, Life Below Water. A massive 70% of the Earth's surface is water. Yet, just 5% of it is protected from damaging human activities. I once saw a documentary on how a seagull's stomach was filled with trash and it horrified me which got me to investigate more on this topic. Good morning, I am Amina from Class 8A speaking on the topic Life Below Water. A massive 70% of the Earth's surface is water, yet just 5% of it is protected from damaging human activities. Overfishing, the most brutal way in which humongous nets are placed at the I would like to invite Dr. Shiva Sari Sambal to the stage to enlighten us with a kind words. Never, it was extraordinary and I guess all the students, all the four of them performed well. By one or two uh, scores, I guess they have uh, got uh, less marks, otherwise all of them uh, got good marks only. 
So all the best for your uh, future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your valuable invite, Ms. Abhilasha Shankar, to share her experience on today's topic. Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, DPS Chankimuram for inviting me to their prestigious school um, uh, to adjust this uh, inter-house uh, inter monologue competition. Actually, I am so glad that these children at this age are performing so well. So, very well done, children. Thank you so much, ma'am. We would also like to invite Ms. Pooja Saxena to the stage to express her opinions. You know, actually it takes a lot of courage to come here and express. So each one of the children who have come up and participated, first of all, that is an achievement. So you are all winners. And, you know, next time we must try and come up here and see how difficult it is to stand and express, feel nervousness, or any kind of expression. So I think next time there should be more participants and few listeners. Okay? And um, this concept of monologue is very important for our life skills, you know. Because here we don't have anybody else to support us. We have to carry on the whole, um, you know, dialogue on our own self. So first of all, let's also put your hands together for Club Sahit Masonas, which was the custodian of this activity. I'd like to just enlighten you judges, like Payal ma'am. Your name is Payal ma'am? The last judge. You very rightly said, it's a very small activity, a day-to-day -day routine activity. We don't consider this very important. Well, I mean, we don't consider it like something is, and, and a lot of study uh, periods have to go in preparation. It's just a routine activity. But my teachers take pride in doing everything in the elaborate manner, in a very nice manner. So, clapping for Club Sahit the Masonas and very rightfully deserved, the third position has been taken by Fatima Zera Bradman House. Walk up on the stage, Fatima. Come, Aradhya, you also come, Vita. And let me tell you, like they said, it was true. Just a point five here and a point five there. And then. So don't look so gloomy, you've done it right. And the first position goes to anybody from the audience, anybody you can. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Amina. <laughs> Who says Palak? Who says Amina? Well, I think judge audience is very, very wise. The first position goes to Palak Mohapatra. we can invite Anjali Ma, who has been very kind enough to judge the, this thing and she'll be giving the certificates.